Some 606,000 people have died of COVID-19 in Brazil since the pandemic began, the second highest number of deaths in the world after the United States. For the past six months, a Brazilian Senate commission has been investigating who is responsible for such a large death toll. On Wednesday, the senators approved the final report by seven votes to four. The report calls for the indictment of two companies and 78 people, including Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro. It accuses the government of allowing the virus to spread through the country and charges Bolsonaro with nine crimes, including crimes against humanity for failing to manage the pandemic. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Bolsonaro said that COVID was just a little flu. He never vaccinated and declined to wear a mask in public. The commission accuses the Brazilian leader of criminal irresponsibility for defending herd immunity. He is also charged with the crime of a charlatanism for promoting and spending public resources on medicines that had no scientific proof they would work against the virus. While Bolsonaro has dismissed the report as politically motivated, the charges are very serious, say political observers. Juridically, it may take years to see whether the president will be found guilty or not. But what the report has produced would be enough to end the political career of anyone anywhere in the world. Senators want to send the commission's finding to the International Court of Justice, where Bolsonaro would be tried for crimes against humanity. The report's conclusion has already had economic consequences for Brazil. The result provokes international instability, shows that the country governed by Bolsonaro is not a safe country to invest in. We see this impact including the devaluation of the currency against the dollar and how many foreign investors took money out of the country because of political insecurity. Bolsonaro is seeking to be re-elected president next year. However, polls show his approval ratings are low as Brazil continues to grapple with the pandemic. Edgar Maciel for VOA News, São Paulo.